We are now ready for section 4.3. We've defined the product, we've defined the sum and scalar multiplication of matrices. Now we're ready to study their properties. So we'll study the operation on matrices abstractly. Um, first section is a bit of a downer. Um, I find it cool, but maybe you will think it's a downer. Uh, in section 4.3.1, we'll see that matrix multiplication is not commutative. This is something that we've come to expect because it's true of real numbers and it's true of the dot product. It wasn't true of the cross product. Well, in this case, it's even worse than for the cross product. So here's an example. Let's look at um, these matrices. I'm asked in A to compute AB. So, up, 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 up. So for the first entry, you take 1, 2 times 2, 1. So that's 2 plus 2, then 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0, and 0 plus 0. So I get a pretty simple matrix. When I multiply these, I get a 4, uh, 4 0, 0, 0. Now let's see what happens if I switch the order. If I do B, A instead, right? So again, I'm going to take rows of the first and columns of the second. And you notice that I'm not changing colors anymore. If you still want to do that, that's fine. Um, it's just a bit of a bit tedious after a while. So what well, two zero one zero? That's two plus zero. Then I get four plus zero. I get 1 plus 0, and I get 2 plus 0. So the matrices um, that I get are really different. So in one case, I get 4, 0, 0, 0. In the other one, I get um, 2, 4, 1, 2. These are not the same. All right, let's try AC and CA. If I do AC, I'm sorry, I can't see it anymore. Uh, that's going to be 1, 2, 0, 0 times 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Again, I'm going to take uh, the rows of A, the columns of C. I'm going to get 1, I'm going to get 2, 1, and then 0, 0, 0. And if I do CA, let's see what happens then. I'm going to look at 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0. I'm going to take these vectors, dot them with them, and they're not the same size, and so I cannot. All right, so this is pretty bad. Even for cross product where it wasn't associative, there was a nice symmetry. If I switch them, I just get an extra minus. Um, this is worse. The first, in A, I don't have any clear relationship between A, B, and B, A. And even worse, in B, one is defined and one isn't. And so this is going to be takeaway 12. In general, A, B is different from B, A for matrices A and B, even when both are defined. And it might be that one is defined, one isn't. It might be that both are not defined.